Fonny tonight here honoring an American patriot. We traveled to Vietnam not long ago and visited what's left of the Hanoi Hilton, where McCain was held for five and a half years. Tonight, our visit just a few months ago to that North Vietnamese prison, now known as the Hanoi Hilton, where John McCain was held prisoner of war. What we found still standing, the rain pouring as we walked through. The prison cells, so little light, the bars on the windows, the concrete floors and narrow beds. John McCain was 31 on the day that changed his life. He was flying an A-4 Skyhawk on his 23rd run. He had just dropped a bomb when an enemy missile would tear one of the wings off his bomber. He ejected and the sheer force of that moment would break both of his arms and one of his legs. The Vietnamese would pull him out of the water and beat him. McCain's father and grandfather were both famous admirals before him. And while being filmed, you hear him being asked his name. What is your name? Lieutenant Commander John McCain. Unable to use his hands, he had to be fed by his captors. The Vietnamese only treating his wounds after they realized who he was. I think you have a famous name. Yes. The Vietnamese would make an offer. They would let him go home, hoping it would be a PR coup, given how famous his family was. But John McCain would refuse, unwilling to break the code. The first man captured must be the first man out. And in what's left of the prison today, we find a book. You can see here some of the American pilots who were arrested between 1964 and 1973. The faces of the prisoners from all over the U.S. To this day, in parts of what's left of the prison here, there are images of the Americans who were captured with captions beneath them that say things like, the Americans enjoying Christmas and receiving letters from family back home. This one, a photo of American prisoners sharing a prayer. The caption beneath it reads, a Christmas meal. Another shows them opening letters from home. But we know the reality. John McCain was beaten when he told them he would not leave, that he would wait for his fellow prisoners. I badly wanted to go home. I was tired and sick. I was often afraid. But I couldn't keep from my own counsel the knowledge of how my release would affect my father and my fellow prisoners. And all these years later, we find a photo of John McCain on the wall. He would ultimately be among 591 prisoners released. Commander John McCain. Saluting the country he put before himself. Honoring John McCain, and we will report all week here on the services in Arizona and our nation's capital. Good night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.